648 on your Wednesday. Thanks for waking up with us. Very soon, Mars will be about as close as it's been to Earth in literally 60,000 years. It will be closest next Wednesday. And here to explain how that's all possible and how we can see this once-in-a-lifetime astronomical event, U of I astronomy professor Brian Fields. Nice to have you here, Dr. Fields. Thank you. Well, good morning, Matt. Uh, so, yes, indeed, Mars is, is putting on a show these days. So, now, to back up, you might recall that Mars is a planet, like the Earth, but right. smaller, about half as big. Um, and uh, uh, I believe we have a picture of Mars. There we go. There it is. Uh, and uh, uh, it's a beautiful picture. And I should mention that a lot of people worked very hard to bring us this image because it was taken by actually going to Mars by a NASA spacecraft in orbit around the planet. It's a beautiful high resolution. Yes, it's, 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 a, it's a wonderful thing. Now, we Earthlings don't get to see Mars as close up as this because we're not there. But still, Mars is a special object in the sky right now. And that's because, as you said, it's very close to the Earth. In fact, it's closer than it's been for thousands of years. So how do we go about finding it? Well, so the, uh, the, 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 the reason that it's so close uh, is, uh, has to do with the orbits of Mars and the Earth. And I think we have a sketch of these. Here they are, yeah. So there we go. That's the far orbit, right? So, yeah, well, this is, well, what you can see is, you can see the sun and the earth and, the, and Mars, and of course what goes on is that the earth and Mars bo both orbit the sun, and you can see their orbits there, their little orbital paths, and what you can't see is that the earth and, the Mar and Mars both go uh, in the same direction around the sun. But the earth is closer to the sun than Mars is, and because of that, the earth goes faster than Mars does. Okay. And since we go faster, we pass Mars every, once in a while, every two years or so. And so every time we pass Mars, that's when we're the closest to okay. it. And so when it gets so, the closest and so like when this. We're, and so the, the twist is that the orbit of Mars is, uh, is not a perfect circle, but an ellipse, an oval. And so when we pass it, when it's uh, far from the sun, it's also far from us. Okay. But here, in this picture, you see that sometimes we'll pass Mars when it's closer to the sun, and then it's closer to us. And that is the situation now. Right now, Mars is the closest that it gets to the sun, and we happen to be passing by it right now, and so that makes it the closest it's been to us for a very long time. In fact, the closest it's been for uh, oh, 50,000 years. Wow. So are we going to be able to see resolution like the picture we saw earlier? Not like the we picture we saw out? later. Telescopes. But uh, <laughs> uh, in, uh, when we come back in a few minutes, I'll tell you about what you can see and uh, where you can go in, in Champaign to uh, get to some telescopes. Let me ask you real quick, before the end of this session, Segment. When it gets close like this, do scientists get very excited? Is, there, is this a really big deal? I mean, it's kind of interesting, but is this a big deal for scientists? It's, uh, uh, it's a beautiful sight, but the truth is we, we come close to Mars, as I said, every, every two years, and although we're the closest we've been for a long time, it's only by a hair's breadth. In fact, uh, we come nearly this close to Mars fairly frequently, but right now it happens to be the, the very closest by a hair's breadth. Okay. But nonetheless, it's a record holder. In about 20 minutes will take 20 or 25 minutes. We'll take a closer look at, how, or 20 minutes, I guess we should say for sure, how we'll be able to get a closer look at Mars. That we will. Sounds good. Dr. Fields, thanks. Well, we're going